The Sixers got off to a shaky start, dragged their way back into the game, posting what we thought at the time was going to be a very competitive total. So he first played for Australia in 1999, Brett Lee, and now in his final over his career, he's got to bring the side home, spin to win, great courage. It was indeed. Maxi. It could be another super over. finish. Well, it wouldn't be bad. Hashtag, let's hope so. But Brett Lee, six balls left in his career, and he just needs to go for six runs. A couple of deliveries in that last over his bowl. Those two Yorkers he bowled. If he bowls six of those, I think he can close out this game for the Sixers. Well, it's lucky AJ Ty's not out there. She could be a maiden to wipe the whole show off, Lee. <laughs> Do you reckon they'll bowl slow balls to AJ Ty? Lee steams into Carberry. He goes around. That is an amazing shot. It's going to go one bounce. It plugs. It's four. Carberry takes the bit between his teeth. He went the Yorker and didn't execute. That is an excellent shot from Carberry. So there's the pressure, boys, even with the best. Brett Lee being around for a number of years. Been around a few mango seasons, as they say. But the execution of his Yorker just way off. You could see the line that he was trying to bowl, but the length just way too full. Made it very easy for Carberry just to flip that one over. 45, who was up inside the circuit. He'll go back now. I thought of another one of those shots, a mid-off will come up inside the circle. You've got to get everything right. Like the line was all right, but the length was a, was a pick-up length from Brett Lee. But can he get it in the block all night now around the wicket? Carves it away on the offside. Man will do everything he can. There's a misfield. They're going to come back for a second. Carberry hurries and makes it. Dives all over the place. Two required from six balls. One for the tie. How quickly the game changed when Lyon got that second wicket of Turner. You look over to the Scorchers bench and, and they were in trouble. But that, that great six from Cooks and all the last over. Then the beautiful ramp from Carberry. Miss Field. All going the Scorchers way. They're up and about, the boys down there in the Scorchers dugout. Will it be this ball? All the field up inside the circle. Two to win, Carberry gets it fine. And they're just going to hold it. So it's all tied up. So somehow Brett Lee needs to deliver three dots. Was well, this what we saw at the MCG wow. earlier in the season? <laughs> Nathan Remington bowled that over. I think. I think Brett will enjoy bowling to the right-hander more for his Yorker. Whether he can hit the stumps, but for Coulter Nile, who's missed so much of the big bash with a reoccurrence of his hamstring injury, what a way to finish it, hitting the winning runs. Ronrique struggling his field as a around out there. Supploy so sometimes use this. They keep one out there because that's generally where you can take a catch out there they'll probably target that area so they'll leave someone out there just to take a catch just in case very heavy offside field you think brett lee will be attacking the stumps Flem, he'll, oh he'll definitely be... so you'd like to see another one over on the leg side inside the circle i think that's what they're talking about now the man that was backwards square legs gone forward and in there's no mid on well, mid on's coming in yet so you've got to do that he's just going to try and hit the base of off and middle stump haven't seen anyone hit the stumps with direct hit all night. One thing they can do, think about here, how he's getting someone fielding on the wicket, side of the wicket, to get them back to the bowls and stumps. If he hits this, he's going to run. Needs someone at those stumps. One to win. Yeah. Oh, it is! Brett Lee, the big chainsaw, comes out. He keeps his career going. He keeps his team going. Cool Niall can't believe it. Bing goes bang. One from two. I was worried we'd never see the chainsaw again. Thanks, Brett. Oh, that was sensational, wasn't it? Uh, oh. Fulton Isle taking the chance because of the field set. And it wasn't the percentage play on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. It wasn't a picture-perfect Yorker, but it was enough. Zing bars flying. Well, I'll tell you what, it wasn't far away from being about perfect. <laughs> well, there it is. A three for one, two, three. The lawnmower's up and running as Whiteman comes to the crease. And I think you're spot on what you said. Flem, he'd much prefer to be bowling that to a right-hander with that ball tailing back in. I think if I was the captain now, I'd be telling Lee to go around the wicket here. I think so, because if he bowls over, if you get anywhere near the stumps, Whiteman's going to try and hit the ball down to find Leek. 
where there is that vacancy. You come around and sort of you, if you can get it just outside of stump or, or on off stump, a hit through the offside, you'd be hoping that a fieldsman will stop it and run him out. And interesting enough, that man's come in beside the wicket now, Howie, for this ball. If it goes anywhere in the ring, you can guarantee that he'll run straight towards the stumps that the bowl is in, trying to affect the run out. Pressure on Ryan Carter as if it's a dot ball and they try for a single. Can he throw the stumps down? One of two balls. Whiteman for his first ball. Everyone is on the circle. He's bowling. Oh, you can't believe it. Brett Lee's on a hat trick. He lets Whiteman know he's got one ball left in his career and he's on a hat trick. I tell you what, he's doing a, a Bollywood movie at the moment, Brett oh. Lee. I tell you what, he's building up he, another Hollywood blockbuster here. You're kidding me, Brett. Oh, a double, is... a hat trick to win the game for the Sixers. Boys, what are we witnessing here? How are you been whinging to me all year about <laughs> not getting in and around in a close game? Jeez, it was right on the length of the bass and would have been afterwards. Yeah. The Bunnings Warehouse replay. Whiteman decided to give himself a little bit of room in advance. Look at this reaction from Brett Lee. He's on a hat trick. I think that's about as pumped as I've ever seen well, him. Look really. at his teammates. They don't know what to do. Sean Abbott in the background. He's just having a giggle. They don't want to go near him. What a finish to BBL for Brett Lee. His last ball well, in cricket. He's been a majestic career. This is the first one. Coulter Nile moving across the crease. Binger, the doorway to departure is met. Whiteman got the length, but he missed the ball. Go big. Yassir Arafat comes into the cauldron to face one delivery. I don't like him. He just needs a leg by or something. Otherwise, we're heading for a super over. Super. <laughs> wow. This has been incredible. The way this game has gone back and forth. One minute the Scorchers think they're home. Nathan Lyon comes on. The Sixers all of a sudden think they're home. The six off his last ball of his spell. Brett Lee's first ball, this over goes for four. Second ball for two. Would he have any energy to bowl the super over? Bigger. Here we are. Look One to win off the last ball. Look at all those sixes fielders in there, Howie. They got four short cutters in there, Rick. This so, is one of the better hat tricks I've seen. Well, Brett Lee, <laughs> he's gone wicket, wicket. This is, unless it's a super over, the final ball of his career. Look at him focusing. Yeah, he's visualising this Yorker. Come on, Bigger. He's calling the stunts. Come on, Bigger. In his career, Brett Lee steams into Arafat. It's up there. Arafat hits and he's out. Oh, the score to the home. They've gone back to back. You cannot believe what you're seeing. They stream over the field. The run out chance was there. It was misfield of Brett Lee. His career is done. And the Scorchers, in incredible fashion to Canberra, go back to back in a big bash thriller. Well, you don't like to see a mistake, do you, like that? There was a good throw back in over the stumps. I think it was Enriquez, the captain, who wasn't able to gather. And look how far out he is. He is literally not in the frame. Just take the ball, knock the bales off. And that would have been super over time, but... Let's have a look now, though. Brett Lee following Arafat. Enriquez got the ball and the fumble. Oh. He was out by a mile. We were going to to a super over there. Brett Lee couldn't have bowled any better in that last over. Hitting the stumps a couple of times. Oh, jeez. He's just rushed it, hasn't he, in the end? He just hasn't quite realised how much time...